In this section, we're going to take a look at when you want to use inherited scope and the advantages of doing so. First off, I want to be able to collapse the entire user info card whenever I click on the user's name here. I would also like to be able to collapse just the address by clicking on the address label here. So let's start off by removing our console.log statements. And then let's go over to our user info card and we'll add in a click event on the panel heading. When the user clicks on the panel heading, I'll invoke a method named collapse. I also want to be able to hide the entire panel body and I'll do that by adding in an ng hide attribute and we'll set that to a variable name collapsed. And now to implement that, I'll go into my script file and let's add a collapse method to our controller. And inside of this method, we'll take our collapsed variable and set it equal to the opposite value of what it currently is. I also want to default this value to false. So at the beginning of my controller, I'll set that value to false. And now if we go up and click on the user's name, it collapses the entire panel. Very simple. Now let's make the address collapsible. I want to do this by turning the address into its own directive. So I'll start by creating a new directive and I'll call it address. And this directive is going to be a custom element, so I'll restrict it to E. I'm going to give it a template URL property. And finally, I'll give it a controller. Now we'll create that address HTML file. I'll go back into my user info card HTML and grab the address section, and remove this entire thing and replace it with the address directive. I'll go up into my address HTML file, paste that in, do a little bit of formatting. And to implement this, I'm actually gonna create two entirely separate divs, one that shows when the address is expanded and one that shows when it's collapsed. So this will be what it shows when it's expanded. And we'll create a second div that shows when it's collapsed. We'll use the same heading. And in the collapse case, we'll just show the user's planet. And then three periods. Now on the same restriction on this div that I want on the top one, and that if the user doesn't have an address, I don't want it to show up. So I'll add the same ng show attribute. And in order to collapse and expand the address, I know I'll need to add a click event handler to both divs. So I'll add an ng click. Clicking on this div will expand the address. So I'll call the method expand address. And clicking on this div will collapse it. So I'll call the method collapse address. And now I need to set this upper div to hide when the user clicks collapse address. So I'm going to adjust this ng show to only show if the user has an address and the collapsed variable is not true. And I need to do the same thing to this div down here. So I'll adjust its ng show to show if there's an address and collapsed is true. Now let's go implement those methods in our script file. And we'll start by defaulting collapse to a false value and we'll implement the collapse address method and the expand method. All right, now our implementation looks good. We're setting the collapsed variable inside of our address whenever we click in the address. So let's go ahead and test this by actually clicking on our address div. Okay, now something very interesting has happened. Notice that the entire user card has collapsed. If I open it back up again, you can see the address is still there. I click it to collapse it, and it collapses the entire user info card. So you may be wondering what's going on here. Well, because we're using a directive with a shared scope, this collapsed variable is the exact same as this collapsed variable. So collapsing and expanding the entire user card also collapses and expands the address. Now that's not functionality that we want. We want this collapsed variable to be separate from this collapsed variable which we can fix easily by making this an inherited scope. Now, if we go in and click the address, it simply collapses the address and leaves the entire user info card alone. But we can't set this scope to be isolated because if we do, now the user is no longer visible to this address directive because the user lives on the parent directive and not on the address directive. We would have to do the same thing that we did to the user info card and actually bring the data in that we want. But in this case, because of the relationship between these two directives, we're okay if they actually share inherited data, but we want this address directive to have its own collapsed variable. So we'll go back to an inherited scope. And now the address directive can see the user object and therefore the address within the user object, 
but it can have its own collapsed variable on the scope that is separate from the collapsed variable on the parent scope. It's important to realize that until we assign the collapsed variable here on line 60, there is a collapsed variable in scope for this address directive, but it's the same value as the collapsed variable for the parent. That's because of JavaScript inheritance. For the same reason, if we assign a new user variable, that's going to make the user variable for the address directive this empty object, instead of it being able to see the user object from the parent directive. Let's actually log out the address directive scope object and see this a little more visually. If we open this up, again, we can see that we have our own collapsed variable right here, and the user object is visible. And if we go into the prototype, we can see that it has its own collapsed variable here, and it has its own user object. Whereas if we come up here and take away this user object, so now we're just inheriting the user object from the parent directive. And we come down in here, we see that we don't have a user object on our own scope, but the user object on the parent scope is still visible. And so we can still access it as scope.user. So inherited is very powerful because it lets you see data on your parent scope, but it can be dangerous if you're not careful.